Hello all. In this video, we shall learn about the assembly program to count the even and odd numbers in an array. So before directly writing to the program, we shall try to analyze how will we identify a number whether it is odd or even. So a number will be divided by 2. If the remainder is 0, the number is said to be even. If the remainder is 1, the number is said to be odd. Always remember, there will not be a unique way to write the program or there will be no one logic to analyze that. So this is one particular logic. Another logic is, if we represent a number in an 8-bit, we have to check out the least significant bit. If the least significant bit is 0, the number can be considered as an even. If the least significant bit is 1, the number is considered to be odd. So we can write the program either by using any of these logic. So let us now analyze to write the program using this particular logic. As the question is, we have to identify how many number of odd numbers are there and even numbers are there in an array. So let us consider we have an array size of 5. In this 5 numbers, we have to check how many odd numbers are there and how many even numbers are there. So let us consider these 5 numbers are stored in the external memory location of your microcontroller 9000H, 9001H, 9002H, 9003H and 9004H. So these are the five different memory locations which is consisting of a different numbers. So we are not knowing what number it is. Each number is represented by 8 bit. So this is how the numbers are. So what we have to do, take the number from stored in the first memory location Chuck the least significant bit. If the bit is 0, we have to consider it as even. If the bit is 1, we have to consider it as odd. So this is how we have to chuck. So let us try to write the program using the same logic now. So what we have to do is, we have to take the number present in the first memory location, say 9000H. Let us take it into accumulator and I have to check out this particular bit that is the least significant bit. So how will I check the least significant bit or how will I know the least significant bit is 0 or 1? So let us move this particular bit into the carry bit. So using JC or JNC instruction I can check whether the carry bit is 0 or 1. Now the question is how will I move this least significant bit into the carry bit? In order to do this operation we have an instruction that is RRC. Rotate right through carry. So this instruction can be used only with the accumulator. So whichever the data we are rotating, that data should be compulsorily there in the accumulator. So if I execute this instruction once, if it is an 8-bit number, out of all the 8 bits, the least significant bit will be moved into the carry. So now using JC or JNC instruction, we can identify whether the carry bit is 0 or 1. So if the carry bit is 0, the number is said to be even. If the carry bit is 1, the number is said to be odd. We shall also make one arrangement as a programmer or a user. The total number of even numbers, we shall try to store it in the register R1. The total number of odd numbers, we shall try to store it in the register R0. So this is the pre-task that we have to do before writing the program. So, this is the logic we are using. The total number of array size is 5. It can be varied and accordingly we may have to change the program. So, from each and every memory location, whatever the data is stored, that I have to take it into A and I have to rotate it. Once after rotating, the least significant bit will be in the carry bit. Then either using these two instructions, I have to check whether it is an odd or an even. If it is an odd, I have to add the number to this register. If it is an even, I have to put the count in this register. So with this logic, let us try to write the. So as a user or a programmer, we shall store the count of odd numbers in the register R0 and count of even numbers in the register R1. To begin with, let us try to store the program in the ROM memory from the memory location 00H. Hence the instruction ORG 00H. As we are using the register R0 and R1 to store the count, let us make initially 0. So we shall try to move the value 00 to the register R0 and to the register R1. So move R0 R1, 00H. 
we are having an array size of 5. So, let us store this count also in some register say for R2. Not mandatory it should be always 5. It depends upon the array size whatever it will be considered. So, move R, R2, comma, hash 0, 5. As we are using the carry flag also, let us consider initially the carry flag will be 0. If we don't write this instruction, by default also it will be 0, but let us confirm by making the instruction, by using the instruction CLRC. So, it will be clearing the carry flag. As we are considering the array, starting from the memory location 9000, let us store this 9000, which is an initial address of an array in some register. And it is an external register, so compulsorily it should be stored in DPTR. So, move DPTR, comma, hash 9000. So, we are copying 9000, which is an initial address of an array into DPTR. Now, we shall take the data present in the first memory location into the register A. So, move x A comma at DPTR. So, DPTR is having 9000. Whatever the data present in 9000 is now copied to A. So, the first data is in the register A now. So, what I have to do? I have to take out this particular count. So, I will write R, R, C, A. So, I am rotating the accumulator towards right through carry. So, once after this instruction is executed, the carry flag will be having the lower significant bit. And I will be checking that using the instruction JC. JC, let me write loop. So, if there is a carry, I am telling that it has to be jumped to loop. So, where shall I write loop? Somewhere here. So, what does it mean if carry is there? If carry is there, the number is odd. So, I have to store that count in the register R0. So, what should I write? If the carry is there, I will increment R0. It means it is an odd number and I have to store it in the register R0. If carry is not there, it means it is an even number and I have to store it in the register R1. So, here I have to write INC R1. And it is not necessary to execute this instruction after this instruction. Either this will be executed or that will be executed. So, if the odd number has to be stored, this instruction has to be executed. If even number has to be stored, this number has to be executed. Once after executing this, I don't want to skip this instruction or I don't want to execute this instruction. So, we shall try to jump this. SJMP, I will write loop 1. And in the loop 1, we shall increment DPTR and I will also repeat this instruction 5 times because the array size is 5. So, let me write DJNZ where we have written the array size in the register R2. So, R2 comma I will write back where we are expecting to go back. It will decrement the register R2 until it reaches 0, it will go to back where we have written back here. So, we have incremented the DPTR, DPTR is now 9001, the data present in 9001 is copied to A, again we are executing the same instruction that is rotating, if the carry is there it will be an odd number, if it is 0 it will be an even number and it will be count of the same, it will be stored in the respective register. And Whenever R2 becomes 0, it comes out of the loop and let us try to end the program. Once after the program is executed, where we have to check the results? In the register R0 and R1. R0 will give the count of odd numbers in the array and R1 will be giving the count of even numbers in an array. So, this is how the program for counting the even and odd numbers in an array.